Well, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. I am just kind of on a little evening hike. I'm really not um, focused on photography. I just wanted to get out, just have you know a little bit of a moment to myself, I guess. But um, of course, I brought the camera still. But uh, it's mainly because I wanted to film this. Hopefully, it will be a short little video segment. Um, I just had a topic in mind. The past couple days, I've been kind of just uh, amusing myself over, and it's the business versus art side of. Uh, photography so this is gonna be more geared towards I guess people like me who are kind of um, in more of a, like a part-time uh, position and kind of just selling their photographs or in my case nature photographs or uh, whatever genres um, that you may shoot so yeah I'm just on this little <laughs> nice little hike but um, just got some nice scenery around me of course stuff that I'm well situated in. it's a local patch of uh, wetlands and woodlands that um, I'm used to, but uh, it's besides the point, like I said, <laughs> you probably tell from my bright white shirt that yeah, I'm not really, it's, t uh, it's very atypical of my t uh, normal nature garb. Anyways, so, um, back, back to the topic. Um, so it's just something I've been thinking about a lot lately, uh, it's just uh, since I've been doing a lot of festivals, um, uh, so far I've done about five of them, I think. Yeah, about five. And in counting, I've got plenty more that I'm doing. And I'll probably be doing probably for years to come. I mean, we'll see. But uh, now that I'm kind of starting to get a little bit of revenue um, generated from um, selling prints, in my case, or selling uh, different kinds of uh, kind of keepsakes, stationery, like greeting cards are especially a big seller. Um, I've just really been thinking about uh, the way to balance like I said, the business versus the art. And so I'm hopefully, I'm gonna give you a few tips in this video. Um, we'll just see how much how much I can ramble about this, I guess. But uh, the things I've been thinking about lately is just, uh, yeah, like I said, how to balance it. Um, you really just gotta, uh, you still gotta shoot photos for yourself. Because I've been noticing at my festivals that um, the more art, artful kind of photos, like uh, creative blurs, uh, intentional camera motion those don't really do, don't do as well or at least most people don't like get them if that makes sense so um, I've been trying to like it's a little bit of a struggle but I'm trying to think about um, it seems like most people have commented they like photos they're like photo photos they, they're tax sharp and they have a really discernible subject which I mean I can totally get because you know every, everyone's tastes are different but uh, I feel like you still have to um, as photographers, for, both for your own kind of personal growth, is to still shoot photos for yourself. I feel like that's very important. Um, just because I, f I feel as though maybe like the Crave Blur shots aren't so uh, compelling to people and they aren't selling as well, I'm still going to shoot them because I love making them, love editing them, I love printing them, of course. Um, I'm still making prints of them or whatever. But um, it's definitely a balance in my case of like, which photos I want to take. Cause I, like for another example is like maybe some of different kinds of uh, uh, what would be considered undesirable like uh, animals, like maybe a, like a tree squirrel because people think, see them as pests or a certain kind of birds, like non-native birds that people may not like or even just even insects, which um, to be honest, I don't think, feel like most people would want those hanging on their walls, you know, nice and big prints of them or framed or whatever, but um, those photos, you know, you can market those towards different kinds of uh, maybe like kind of like nature or like news agencies. Um, this is if you're a nature photographer, of course. But even if you're not, you could still, if you do stock photography and you shoot for micro stock, you could still, you know, publish publish them on your portfolio, uh, publish them on your website. You could do that. Um, you know, big one is naturepicturelibrary.com or .org. I forget. Sorry. Um, it's good. This good website that's kind of like good for uh, nature photographs and stock. Uh, yeah, it's just I've been noticing lately just because I'm now starting to kind of generate a little bit of side revenue or like a side income um, as my kind of my I guess my brand or name is kind of getting some foot traffic in the kind of local scene from where I'm from, which is which is awesome by the way. Uh, I'm starting to get return customers and repeat customers or piece, at least people that are uh, noticing me, noticing my photos, noticing my face, <laughs> noticing my name, which is pretty cool. Um, 
So I really can't complain there, but uh, it's definitely a little bit of a struggle. And just also, I think of, and this goes for really any business, is just to manage your time and manage it well. Um, especially someone like me, where I'm pretty much doing this all from the ground up with all the available funds and money that I can make. But uh, I just, you gotta really, like no one else is really forcing me to do this, obviously. Um, this is all, like I said, from the ground up. It's all kind of, I guess, my doing. Um, I got no one really, I'm like the boss, I guess. Um, the owner, I'm the sole proprietor. Um, I got no one else really telling me what to do. Which means, I could, I could fall flat on my face and screw up things. Or, in a good way, I can make all the different creative choices and decisions I want. Um, both in just locations go and scout out, um, uh, photographs to order or print, and yeah, just everything, really. I mean, when you're the boss, you're the boss. You make your own hours, but um, you gotta really be like almost well caffeinated and hyper-focused on your goals without burning out, of course. And I know I'm not the best example of uh, not burning out because I'm, I do it pretty frequently. Uh, I frequently uh, overwork myself, which is a little bit of a struggle. But you gotta, yeah, like I said, you just gotta really manage your time wisely. Um, figure out what you need to do. Uh, prioritize everything. I've been finding that very important. Um, the newest photos I have to edit, I edit those first. The oldest ones, at least, are the, uh, sorry. Let me start that over. The oldest photos and video are the ones I typically will edit first. And then the newest stuff, you know, it just kind of goes in a, like a stacked list in order. Um, and then like obviously for festivals, I've um, got plenty of festival dates on many weekends. Sometimes a few weekends in a row. Sometimes one day ones. Sometimes two day ones. And I have to really make time, of course, to organize everything, um, get it all packaged nicely, um, even just choose out the different frames, and just all the different product materials that I'm going to bring to each one. Uh, think about the layouts of the festival. Uh, there's just, <laughs> you get the point, there's so much to do, um, including packing, unloading, all that into my vehicle. Most of it's done by myself anyways. Um, just kind of, since I'm a little bit of a one-man army, at least at this point. But yeah, you just got to really manage your time well. And you have to really uh, focus on what you need to do first and foremost from a business standpoint. And that's only if, um, kind of like in my case, if you want to make this a some type of living. Um, hopefully, at least I hope for me personally, um, hopefully it'll be a full-time endeavor um, down the road. But it's going to be probably quite a while before that happens, um, to be honest. But uh, yeah, if you're a photographer and you're very interested and making this your living, um, yeah, you just got to really learn business sense, have a good business sense, I guess. Um, obviously, I'm not the <laughs> perfect expert on that. Uh, I'm still learning plenty of it myself. But you just got to figure out what you need to do first and foremost, uh, manage your time well, um, and just do it. I mean, you just got to got to do it. I mean, if you have a day job, you still just got to... Like I said, you gotta be very motivated and a little bit caffeinated, and you just gotta do the work and get it out there. And I feel like that's really important. And so, yeah, you just gotta learn things about business. You gotta learn um, how to kind of run it as a business in a way. But anyways, going to the other side of the coin, um, the art side. So, most I, I bet most people, uh, photography or any other kind of uh, creative medium or industry, they probably all start out not being business, um, kind of business related to what they enjoy. So obviously, I'm definitely a case of that because I start photography merely as a way to escape the daily stresses and struggles of life. Um, I wasn't really <laughs> obviously interested in selling photographs when I started. I was inter interested in taking the photographs. That's all I wanted to do, and it was just more of a um, kind of creative outlet and something I just did pretty much for fun. I mean, and I still do, of course, you know, don't get me wrong. But obviously now it's with a more business focused uh, kind of side of things. So you got to really balance yeah, the business and the art side. Um, you got to take photos for you. Um, I'm Like I said, the one example I gave a little bit ago, um, I'm still going to take abstracts. I'm still going to take patterns and textures. 
um, photos that maybe not do as well in a festival or kind of general public setting, but they might do better in a art gallery setting. Um, so you also got to think about different kind of revenues and uh, different like venues, I guess, where you can display your work. So especially if you diversify, which I feel like is very important, um, at least in my case, because I diversify all in kind of the umbrella of uh, nature related stuff. And so I'm going to, I'm, yeah, I'm still going to shoot those photos. Um, just, I feel like it's just very important to uh, keep creating, keep creating for you. Um, and if you need to, like I'm kind of doing here in a way, um, take a break. I mean, don't feel bad. And like I said, I'm not the best person to really give this advice, but um, you just got to take a break sometimes. Like, um, this video is maybe, I guess, the one exception, but um, I'm not, I'm just kind of looking around. I'm seeing a lot of birds. Um, and different, I guess you call them subjects, but I'm just, I'm seeing it as things, and I'm just, I'm really just kind of here, in a way, like I said, besides the video, to just enjoy the experience, and I'm not really <laughs> here to photograph anything. Um, I really don't have any gear besides this camera here to photograph anything, and like I said, I'm not really concerned about that. So, I mean, yeah, just take a break sometimes. I mean, don't feel bad. Your business is probably not going to go anywhere. Um, it's just as long as you don't take a too long of a break, of course. So, just like even set aside a, a, either half a day or a full day, just to you know, kind of unplug, unwind, um, hang out with friends, enjoy other things in life. Um, yeah, just don't really worry too much about the camera. And if you do want to take out the camera and go shoot somewhere, maybe shoot something that's not related to your kind of niche or whatever. So, like in my case, maybe I can go out to like an urban setting and do something that's uh, not really typical of what my um, portfolio is. And you don't have to share any of that. That's another big thing. It's like um, if I went out to a city and did some cityscapes at sunrise or sunset, I'm not going to obviously post those on my nature website. Um, but it's more in that case as more like a creative fulfillment. I'm just shooting those photos for kind of my inner fulfillment. Um, and that's just more of a another kind of creative uh, escape, I guess. But yeah. Anyways, this video is probably going on way too long already, but um, I hope those kind of I guess you call them tips um, really just helped out, and hopefully you got some sort of interesting, uh, maybe some I guess advice to uh, think about um, as if you're starting to become a working kind of creative professional photographer um, in any genre at least. So, uh, yep, this has just been a nice, hopefully nice little ramble video. Um, I really had no direction or script with this, but I just kind of wanted to let out some ideas and hopefully share them. And yeah, if you have any comments, yeah, put them down below. Uh, yeah, no B-roll with this video. No, nothing fancy. Just want to let that out there. Um, so, if I think of anything else, I'll put it in the description. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, yeah, that's it. So... Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah. Have a good day.